like your coffee see, I just I f- I just saw something like let's say like a, a, a dark cloud if it all of a sudden capote mm-hmm. that's when everything changed na zile rose kimingia wana ananiambia vile zilikuwa zikiingia anasema kinakuja kitu kama upepo upepo mkali na kelele yani kama wanamuongelesha jikafika mahali mpaka alikuwa ananiambia na mbona nikuue mimi nikaenda pale kwa pasta akanambia sina wacha nikwambie mimi namuombea ataka 2 years bila job na huyu bwana kataipata kazi atashimisha kuteseka hiyo kitu inatumiza mpaka leo it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay when christabel met this man she fell in love with him but it took 3 months to accept his proposal or she didn't know is what she was getting herself into would be a struggle she would take years to overcome today she's here to share her story and her husband's story of a life in darkness and how they have overcome that challenge to stand with us here today and share that testimony karibuni sana tunisho asante my name is felix mm. shiondo um i come from kakamega yeah. but currently I, I reside in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. That's where I've been raised up um, partly mm-hmm. because I was born in Nairobi and then up to some time in the year 2000 yeah. is when now my dad relocated to Mombasa. Mm-hmm. So from 2001 up to now you've been staying in Mombasa. Been in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this where you met your wife? Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's why I met her. Okay. Um around 4 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tumbe jina lako kama jina anaitwa Christabel. Mhm. Mimi nimezaliwa Kakamega. Mhm. Na msai naishi Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Tuna huko ndo tulipatana mume wangu. Okay. Yeah. Unaweza tueleza wakati mlipatana ulikuwa ukifanya nini? Ulikuwa unafanya kazi wapi? Ulikuwa what were you doing? Mkipatana naye. Wakati nikutana na mume wangu, naweza mm-hmm. sema kuna mali nilimkuta. Alikuwa place fulani nilikuwa ni nilikuwa nimeenda salon. Mm-hmm. So nilimpata hiyo place. Yeah. So akaniambia kuna ile ukikutana mtu the first time nilikuwa naona ananiangalia sana lakini sikuja intention yake ni gani mm-hmm. na mimi si kwa niko tayari kwa kwa relationship juu 1 2 3 2 happen mm-hmm. so hata aliomba rafiki yangu namba ndio aka na communicate na yeye for long for long to come friends ikafika time akakuja akaniambia ndona like nakupenda na by then nikamwambia sababu mimi ni mokoka na lazima nifuate sheria za kanisani. Utanipatia muda nijifikirie. Mm-hmm. Na kwa sababu yeye pia alikuwa tayari. Na sijui ni nini limfurahisha kwangu si sijua. Eh akaniambia hata ukaniambia mizi ngapi nitakusubiri. Maana yake ni mwana wewe kitu alinambia ni nona wewe ni bibi yangu. Roho yangu inaniambia you are my wife. Mm-hmm. Eh, sasa tuli tulikana naye hiyo hiyo 3 months tukijuana tulikuwa marafiki tu ikafika hiyo 3 months wakati lipoisha eh 3 months wakati lipoisha ilifika kama tuko church on sunday so ikakuja ka happen babake alikuwa mgonjwa alikuwa kikueleza tu eh alikuwa kinieleza hiyo mm-hmm. hata asubuhi alipo, alipoingia akaniambia babangu ni mgonjwa lakini yuko kwa nyumba ajenda hospitali mm-hmm. nikamwambia atakuwa sawa acha tumwambia atakuwa sawa tukiwa kanisani hakukuwa tule ya comfortable church alikuwa like ya kuna ka stress mm. na by then tu atuko tumeambiana like kuna something tulikuwa ile tu marafiki mimi mm. na yeye angekuja niambie Christabel 1 2 3 na mimi na advice hivyo yeah. so that sunday wakati service ilikuwa imeisha akaniambia anataka kwenda kuona babake jo alikuwa mpigiwa simu na step mother akamwambia father ako hospitali amelazwa mm-hmm. sasa nikamwambia fanye hivi jumini kwa secretary of praise and worship nikamwambia juni nilikuwa na pesa kidogo ya praise and worship nikamwambia hii pesa wacha nikupatie kama fair uende hospitali ukamone fadhi mm-hmm. akaniambia stenda peke yangu nitaenda na wewe nikamwambia okay ni sawa haina neno wacha tutoke tuende zetu wakatukua njeni kama tunaenda tunakaribia kufika kupanda gari tukakutana na step mother ndio huyu akamuongelesha hakuwa nataka kumuongelesha juu yako kuwa na good communication na mm-hmm. yeye yani kulikuwa na kulikuwa si kuelewa hapo katikati before mm-hmm. so hiyo akaniliitaka kujua zaidi yeye na ule mama 
familia ya yeah. yeah. wakati unapatana na wife yako mm -hmm. ulikuwa unasema anasema ali notice kulikuwa na bit of strange relationship between wewe na step mom mm -hmm. wako unaweza explain what happened when you were growing up what happened it can lead to the strange relationship actually if i could maybe go back mm -hmm. because my mom passed in 1995 yeah on 17th of December mm -hmm. and we buried down Christmas day yeah. the same same year so this step mom she came in, in the following year yeah. um sometime in June July so things were initially just okay yeah. but i think now ile kitu ambayo ilimuma sana ni kwamba aligundua ana uwezo wa kupata mtoto so from 1997 up to today alibadili watu so like uh, it's even in the family domain ya kwamba jai kwa na uhusiano mzuri between mimi na sisi na ye. we are only, like we are two mm -hmm. me and my sister Sharon so jai kwa na uhusiano mzuri na ye. paka na leo mm -hmm. so the fact was that my dad my late dad now alikuwa he was a very principled man and hakuwa uh, nataka mchezo kwa watoto wake so Confit ilikuwa inaingilia kwamba yeye anaona ya kwamba she is the wife. Mm -hmm. Na dad na anasema these are my children. So uhusiano ilianza to up to break kabisa. Mm -hmm. Actually la sisi like growing up tukishina mama life wasn't easy. Ilikuwa na kaina ko Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Remember by then um easy vitu ko nasikia watu wakitell about step parents. They are true. Sisi tuli experience first hand. What's the worst thing we experience kwa in her hands? Unanyimwa freedom hata kwenda cho. Ukiamka asubuhi tumbo imekaza kabisa na by then kulikuwa na water shortage in umoja in Islands. Mm -hmm. So unaambiwa vumilie mpaka usiku. So since morning utajiga utagaragara kwa bed hivyo bedroom kila mali. Usuju sende choni. Ifike usiku kabisa upatie gazeti. So that you can download yeah, your stuff yeah. there alafu tupe kule nyuma kwa compost and then uh, we kwa estate sikuwa ni to prisoner prisoners actually by the i've decided to just come and share mm -hmm. this story as a story of hope maybe to somebody yeah. because kama mbe sisi ulio overcome personally kama mimi mwili overcome mtu mm -hmm. mwingine pia anaweza toboa mahali anyone can overcome anyone, anyone can overcome mm -hmm. because tulikuwa ni to prisoners because atakuwa anaenda kucheza kucheza kwenda kucheza shule peke yake na kama ni mkisikia mnaenda ushago either in April ama ni August ama December those were the best days because you'll be away from you'll be away from her ama tamkiwa pale hivi shoshi uko pale hivi mko mm. freedom hakuna mtoto wa kazia mm. so nilisema life wasn't that rosy yeah it was really tough na mimi up to now nilim nilimsame because as a born again christian no yeah. ni to let go so on that day ni mnapatana na tarisha ambao your dad amekuwa admitted hata kuniambia because in the morning mm. it was on november 15th mm. it was on sunday morning 2020 2020 i was getting ready to go to church so dad was like eh hey, my son unaenda kanisa ni kaambia ndio akaniambia eh hey, mimi mimi nenda kazini alikuwa anafanya kazi pot mm -hmm. na used to work they used to have even shifts za kwenda mpaka Sundays over the holidays. So akaniambia ah, mimi nenda kanisa nenda nenda kazini but you go and pray for me. Yeah. He was just okay. Mimi kutoka hivi nenda kanisani I knew that my dad alikuwa amenda kazini. So by the time like uh, my wife anasema kwamba tulikutana na my step mom akirudi. Mm -hmm. Mimi sikuja nenda wapi alikuwa ametoka wapi. And it, I did not even expect to hear kwamba my dad alikuwa admitted because it was the high season ya covid. Yeah. Na ye yeah, nikimwona kija hivi mbele nikitaka kumblock hivi it was because spare key nyumba alikuwa amefichwa. Mm -hmm. So she only had the single key ambayo nez access nayo nyumba. I wanted just to go and change or maybe go back to church ama nene ni mtembele. Mm -hmm. So what happened was kwenda kumblock hivi mbele alitaka ali kupita since it was in broad daylight me nilimshika mkono kwa lazima mhm mm nikaambia no mm, what's going on nipatie ufungua kaniambia twende kwa nyumba nikuelezee lakini hata hivyo baba kwa admitiwa jo cham so i was like i i was be, i was actually confused mm -hmm. because i'm admitiwa na ni mtu ameniaga asubuhi akaenda kazini 
so i was confused yeah that's when like you couldn't come again i you can advise i can be just go to the hospital mm-hmm. so kufika kule hivi i think by then walikuwa angalia symptoms za mtu akiwa na very maybe fast breath high mm-hmm. fever and like isolation yeah so me kufika pale hivi nikana pale outpatient nikamwambia i'm the son to julius na nimeleza ame admit you hapa so they were like you can deal like you wezi muona alikuwa isolation ya time ame washai kwa isolation tayari mm-hmm. and nikamwambia ko ah, on, on, on oxygen mm-hmm. kitu kama hiyo but they're not telling me the fact that washambia my step mom waki wakiwa busy kule juu kutengeneza mzee kimweka hizo ma oxygen eh, masks na kila kitu alikuwa anawasumbua mm-hmm. kwa nasema no call me my son call me my son so my step mom was there by then sasa so, wakamuuliza huyu stand wake yuko hapa Mombasa akamwambia yuko Mombasa akamwambia ndo muite mm-hmm. she never called me she never told me anything so mimi nikiwa pale ndio cha musiku nilikesha pale the only thing i could communicate with my dad was through the switchboard yeah. ama nipige simu askari ama nas kule mako station ni wako duty yote imashike aongea sema ya kwamba eh hey, na mungalea anelea vizuri na pumua vizuri mm-hmm. ama naika kwa sawa but i was not allowed to see him all that time all that time because the doctor mwe alikuwa anamshughulikia ndio alimtuma my step mom aje ni it mm-hmm. now the rules were ya kwamba naweza muona tu if the doctor is present mm-hmm. and daktari naka ameshaenda akawa anaingia kesho yake mchana mm-hmm. and by the time alikuwa anaingia kesho yake mchana it was too late dad already passed on around 6:30 ya subuhi Yeah. Wakati huo mlikuwa already in a relationship sio. She actually said yes to me on that very fateful Sunday and then my dad passed on Monday the following day mm-hmm. the morning. Nitupeleke kwenye hiyo siku ambapo alikuambia you decided you made up your mind yes I want to date him. What was going through your mind? Kulikuwa kukienda vipi? Hiyo Sunday wakati aliponiambia babake asikie vizuri na alikuwa na ile alikuwa na stress. Yeah. Asile ni kwanja ribu kumuongelesha but kuna spirit ilikuwa inaniongelesha. Kuna niambia this is the right time. Mhm. Sasa sasa nilikuwa nashindwa nitamwambia aje. Ito kwanza ako na stress. Yeah. Babake alikuwa sawa. Na hii wakati yani hiyo kitu niambia tu leo ndo tutamwambia na sikujua ni nini ilikuwa ina ni push. Sikuelewa. Mm-hmm. Na siku wakati aliniuliza on that Sunday tulikuwa na yeye kwangu. Akaniambia unanipenda nikamwambia yes nilijikuta nimetamka mm-hmm. alilia sana alilia alilia like 30 minutes na muongelesha but analia akaniambia nikamuuliza ni nini kwa nini unalia akaniambia analia kwa sababu na imagine nikikupeleka kwa step mother kama atakukubali kwa sababu amenifukuzia wasichana wengi okay mwenye napeleka atafanya visirani lazima msana aende mm-hmm. ataleta tu fujo fujo lazima utaenda utaishi pale. Wakati nilikwambia hivi uliogopa kwamba what have I gotten myself into ama ulisema nitajikaza. Mimi sikuogopa. Mm. Nilisema kama nimemwambia yes. Lazima ndatoboa. Nishaomwa. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nikaambia Mungu nitie nguvu. Sitaki sijaenda hapo kujaribu. Mm-hmm. Mimi nimeenda kuishi. Okay. Na hiyo wakati nilienda ku hiyo siku ya kama tunaenda like mambo arambe arambe. Step mother akunipenda. Hakunipenda kabisa. Mm-hmm jua alikuwa anamtafutia msichana mwingine kuna msichana step mother alikuwa amemuona so alikuwa anataka kumpatia na yeye alikuwa sha make mind ni wewe ni mimi mm-hmm. na kuna ile decision alikuwa ame alikuwa amesema round sitakubali anibomoe mm-hmm. na sitakubali round anifukuzie bibi na hata kama ita happen bila father me pass jo father alikuwa anasimama kusaidia yake lakini kuna vile yeye mama alikuwa anamconvince mm-hmm. ah father angekubali lakini yule mama kuna vile atamuongelesha tu fadhali kwa kibadilika mm. fadhali kwa kimsikiza sana hata anaongea na alikuwa ananiambia anaongea na dad usiku wa agree kwa kitu ikifika asubuhi dad amebadilika anasema si hivyo mm-hmm. yani alikuwa kimblock everywhere ange angeongea kwa babake something mm-hmm. angeomba baba fadhe pesa fadhe baada mpatie direct fadhe atapatia yule mama ndio yule mama yeah, amefikishi okay. mm-hmm. na haitafika yote Mm-hmm. atamfikishia ile kidogo ama ampatia masimpe akisikia fadhaki kiulizi ndio atasema nilikuwa nimeweka nilikuwa nimpatie mm-hmm. so alinieleza nikona 
amepitia magumu. Amepitia lot mpaka kuna mwingine alikuwa ananiambia na nasema kweli Mungu anawapenda. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu kama Mungu angekuwa anawapenda labda angewachukua. Mimi mwenyewe alikuwa ananiumiza. Na nikakaa kanuza utavumilia na umama. Nikasema nitavumilia. Mm -hmm. Na mimi hata niondoa sababu ni mamwa na roho yangu yote sitatoka. Mlikuwa na urafiki. Unasema relationship ilikuwa tu kawaida tu normal. Yes. But unasema kuna wakati alibadilika. Yes. Na ilifanyika after how long what happened? Wakati father alikufa. Mhm. Mm Tukienda home kumzika. Yeah. Okay, hiyo wakati mimi nilienda. Jo safari mimi join sasa. Eh mimi nilijoin lakini sikwenda na ile gari kwa sababu ya tulikuwa tunaambiwa ati staili ni safari na na babake kwa gari moja sababu hatujawana okay. kitu kama hiyo nilikuwa naambiwa kimila tu. Eh kimila nilikuwa naambiwa hivi sasa ilikuwa mimi nitangulie nifike kwetu. Mhm. Mm Niambie my mom alafu ndio niende kwao okay. sababu kutoka kwetu mpaka kwa usimba ali mm -hmm. so mimi nikaenda home nikaelezea madhini nikamwambia one to three lakini sikuwa nimemwambia kama niko na mtu lakini madhini unajua ni mtu mzima alisense huyu mm -hmm. anatoka Mombasa safari mrefu lazima kuna kuna something mm -hmm. so mimi nikaenda kwao kufika kwao tukazika fadhi nikakaa kwao two days mimi nilikuwa narudi na naenda job so mimi nikafika Mombasa vizuri sasa nikwa I remember nilikuwa niko kazini sitaki akinipigia simu akilia nikamuliza Sharon unalia nini akaniambia Christabel Felix sasa nikamza amekufa tunamza ah. amekufa kwa simu mm -hmm. analia na ananiambia Felix nikamuliza nini mbana na yeye akaniambia Christabel Felix hayuko sawa mm -hmm. Felix ni kama akili haiko mtu ah. zenye sasa hizi haziko sasa hizi anasema anaona tu watu sisi atuelewi anaamka usiku hataki kujua ni saa ngapi alikuwa akiamka akienda so mimi nikamwambia wacha tuombe Mungu na kama kuna mara mbaya ametumia Mungu ataondoa mm -hmm. so bedeni wakamshika wakamtafutia pasta uko bara ule pasta akaenda akatabiri akasema amerogwa na ili ani ile wakati ilikuwa pale kwa matanga ile KP ilikuwa imesema kwa sababu babake amekufa ilikuwa yapi apatue kazi mm -hmm. sasa ile kitu kanaunzwa pale kwa matanga which is kila mtu alikomplain akasema onge announce pale mm -hmm. kwa sababu kule ni kubaya kule kwa kuna uchawi zaidi hasa mm -hmm. wakati KP ilisema tutampatia kazi hapo ndo kila kitu kiliharibikia ah ile haribikia unashuku una that is what triggered yes. the whole thing yes felix ni nini kilifanyika wakati your wife left to go back to work ukabaki kule bara kulendaje let me just say something ambao mimi nimesahau kusema yeah the day we, we we ferried my dad's body home yeah. for burial mm -hmm. actually kulikuwa na conspiracy mingi walikuja wakasema mara ni covid mara ni but me i was with my dad yeah. till the last minute sasa hapo si i ruled out covid because mm -hmm. mama basic covid alikufa because of that uh, heart attack mm -hmm. so um, safari ilikuwa ni ngumu barabarani we had to go ilikuwa nafika kufika kule nyumbani mnasikia nasoma mkifika hivi by 6 asubuhi mwili ilikuwa imeshazikwa mm -hmm. But I remember I really had a difficult time because me ndo nilikuwa in charge of your safari. Yeah. Na tukaenda. So we tuliongea na wale madereva tukawaambia this man amejenga nyumba yake. Amejenga nyumba kifari kuna safari mzali ali 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 alienda chai alienda mm. Germany in 2017. Yeah. So ile pesa ambayo alipata kule kidogo alikuja tukaka na kwa medad. Hii nyumba tukikuiona kwa hii nyumba mabati takujenga nyumba mzuri mm -hmm. so alikuwa amemaliza tu kujenga nyumba amefanya finishing and then he dies ajai la nataka kwa hiyo nyumba ta siku moja so bikiliona na wale madereva tukawaambia because hasa hazikuwa zinasema mwisho wa siku kwa barabara by mm -hmm. then i remember kulikuwa na na bali na night travel yes. lakini hasa zilikuwa zinatembea full speed so tukitoka Mombasa saa 8 saa 8 mchana western tutakuwa by saa kumi na moja na nusu asubuhi meaning lazima barion i proceed yes so tuliongea madi na madereva tukamwambia hapana this man at least hakuna siku ngine tutaimfanyie ibada mzuri ama sherehe nzuri mm -hmm. ni leo peke yake haifai azikwe leo kama mbu amesaidia watu wengi mm -hmm. amesomesha watoto wa watu amejengea watu manyumba amesaidia watu kupata kazi yetu watoto wake wenyewe hawana yeah. so tukamwambia madereva kakubali so we had just to talk to them kupatia kitu kidogo So instead of kufika nyumbani saa kumi na mbili za asubuhi mm -hmm. by six in the morning we in Nakuru. Tukashuka with my sister and my cousins tukaenda kule kununua maua hizo misalaba mm -hmm. na kila kitu. 
tukaenda na safari ndio pole pole tukafika Timboroa tukaona hizo ma staff ma vyakula kila kitu so by the time tulikuwa nafika nyumbani it was already 6 jioni mm-hmm. but no tuko kwa basi moja na step mom ye yeah, ame conspire na some of my uncles wameenda wamepiga simu nyumbani wamesema kwamba ile mwili natoka Mombasa huyo mtu amekufa corona kwa hivyo mhakikisha kwamba akifika aziko immediately ama asiingie kwa boma okay. yet mimi niko na death certificate niko na burial permit niko na notification of death mm-hmm. hakuna mali imetajwa kitu kama covid na mimi sijui na tuko na mtu kwa gari moja tukisimama every stop over mimi ndo nanunua chakula mimi ndo na pay the bills mimi ndo nakisha madereva wamekula lakini yani ambia asha dunga kule mwiba kule nyumbani so some 500 meters before to fike kwa junction ya kuingia kwa boma imagine all the way from Mombasa tumepita roadblocks zaidi ya 200 at just mabisho yeah. that was the first askari wako mbele kuna lorry hapo hivi kuna land cruiser askari wako wengi wame block ba, nini wame block your hus bus mbele na nyuma wakaingia kwa basi wameinua bunduki juu sema eh hey, nasiki hii basi imebeba mtu ako na corona our orders from above are uibobi mwili siingie kwa boma nani ya in charge wapi kijana mzee pako anajua kwamba mwenye ako in charge ni kijana wa marehemu lazima kuinfo nikasimama nikaenda pale kambi officer because naelewa sheria na nimesoma pia kidogo najua mmetumwa but fanya hivi msituzuie kuingiza mwili kwa boma mm. mtaa twende wapi kasema hapana tu baambia tupeleke mwili police station so yeah. i talked to my un- my uncles kuna wale ambao ni ni maskari tulikuwa na communication nao kabisa by the way nilisaidia sana mhm mm. so akaniambia fanye hivi usiwazuie wacha nyie leteni mwili mpaka police station kaenda kaongea na hiyo askari na OCS na OCPD walinda kuongea na huko waliniambia because i was in so much pain yeah. because i had to go i had to turn to my step mom nikamza surely kama ingalikuwa ni wako kwa hiyo boot kule chini and she wound is alive na usimamisha yuko barabara you want to tell me ange, ange nyamaza tu kabisa askari wa block barabara mm-hmm. bila kusema jambo vile umeketi pale alafu unasema that is your husband mm-hmm. so like nilikuwa na uchungu kabisa but wale mankozi kwenda kule kwa kule kwa OCPD wa kongea kila kitu so finally they allowed mwili kuachiliwa but wakapenda conditions ya kwamba iwekwe mahali na watu wasikaribie mm-hmm. nao plan ambayo ilikuja ikasababisha nikagundua kwamba oh, this thing was planned ama ilikuwa ni skimmed huyo mm-hmm. step mom i'm so sure ali organize na watu wa Kenya power ama sijali organize na nani stima zikakatwa kwa boma yetu by the time tulikuwa tunaingia kwa boma she was there yeah. it was so dark na ni hapo tu kwetu peke yake but hizi nyumba zingine kule kwote unaona kula steam inawaka that is the point about nikishuka kwa basi because everybody was like felix felix mimi na nahakikisha na, na mizigo ishukisho cha kule isipotee kila kitu isipotee that was the point about kuna somebody it was a voice of a lady kuja kwa maski wanga kaniambia eh hiyo degree imeenda kwa mchanga hivyo inaenda kwa mchanga hii yako pia ni hivi karibuni. So alikuwa akimaanisha babako vile anazikwa. Yes, vile anaenda kuzikwa. So I have a degree. So I was the next in line. So ile kugeuka hivi, mm-hmm. uniangalie nani amesema I just saw the movements kwa giza. Manake kwetu kwa compound hakukuwa na stima. Na tukiangalia kule kwingine kwote kuna stima. Ilikuwa sauti ya mwanamke. Sauti ya mwanamke. Mm-hmm. Mm, alafu alikuwa amevaa. Though hakukuwa na moon ilikuwa tu ni black mm-hmm. mm, alikuwa anapita kwa watu maana watu walikuwa wengi my dad alikuwa ni mtu wa watu so watu wote washasikia kwamba tumeshikwa yes. tumezuia kuingia so people are anxious wakakuja mpaka kwa boma kuja kuangalia what is happening mm-hmm. so from that point kulikuwa na lot on your mind yes so when she says that sister yako alimpigia simu akisema umeanza ku act strange mm. for you for you from your perspective mm-hmm. uliko key experience nini Actually mimi ni mtu mmoja nilikgrow niki nikijua niki, niki kwamba hakuna mambo na uchawi yeah. ama hakuna mambo na uganga. Mimi ungeniambia kwamba kuna watu watu, watu wanaroganaanga mimi ningekwambia hiyo ni mchezo. Mm-hmm. Ama like you see people going to church alafu wanaombea alafu naona mtu anaanguka kule. Me used to laugh. Mm-hmm. Nasema hii ni mchezo. But it happened to me. 
Yuna sketi mtu na kuongelesha sauti, yuna sketi sauti. I used to hear voices. Literally. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa na sketi sauti. Wachano na hapo, kwa hapo, wachano na hiyo me happen kwa matanga. Hii ilianza in 2019. 2019, mm-hmm. nikifanya kazi in Nairobi. Because after graduating in 2013, nilika tunje 2014. 2015 nikapata kazi. Yeah. Please, nikuwa na, nafanya internship hapa kibra tu. Mm-hmm. So nifanya kazi 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, nothing. I'm just okay. You're normal. I'm very normal. 2019, someday na kumuka liko me receive wageni kule shuleni. It was a shule, it was a primary school, alafu ilikuwa ni college, mm-hmm. alafu ilikuwa na some vocational training center. Iki wako ofisi, I just, I, f- I just saw something like, there's somebody like a, a, a dark cloud. Hivi tu, then I'm like, eh, hey, kwa ni loto mani nini? Hivi tu, hivi, all of a sudden ni kapote. Mm-hmm. That's when everything changed. So kwanzia hapo hivi, I used to drink a lot. Yeah. Ata ni kiingia kwa ofisi. Ni kiambene ni niongebe na watu. By the back at work, I was the best orator. Walikuwa kitaka mtu kuongea mbele watu. Because ni mezo kwa cancel watu. Mm-hmm. I used to be the one to pick. It was Felix. Yeah, it was Felix. Mm-hmm. Kasuka mali, but I have to go and drink. To get the courage. To get the courage. Mm. And job as six, lakini <laughs> kwa bag lazima ni kwa nakitu. Did you disclose to your wife that you were struggling with these things? By then, I took my meet na Okay, okay. So it's something that na only liyaza kitambo. Uh, Until when my, my my immediate boss, Uncle Sister Lucy, she had to take me to Kenyatta. Nika admitiwa. Mm. Kambia ya kwamba it was deep, severe depression, mm-hmm. severe brain damage. Kwa likuwa kwa tumepa patamsi zingine mingi mingi. So, but that's the first time you remember struggling with something yes, mental. Yes, struggling with something mental. Mm-hmm. Because personally I'm a caregiver, I'm a social work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my work, nasaidi ya watu. Walafu, nakumuka history ya Kibra na elections za Kenya. After elections, kuna a lot of post-election yes. eh, stress and disorders. Kwa saidi ya watu hivyo. Mm-hmm. So, but you can mali, it dawned on me, I'm, the, I'm now the victim, I needed help. So, Sister Lucy tried, like in Madam Piri, they tried, kunipeleka hospital. But when it became so worse, nilibidi wapige my dad, haki ya ubado, haki ya ubado, haki ya ubado. Oh, he was still alive, yeah. So, he came, haka nichukua, kanipeleka Mombasa. I remember my dad, haka nipeleka mali kwa hospital. Vitu vit, vit, vit mbazo likuwa naongea, babazo niyaza kulia. <laughs> Akasema wa hewe ulibadilishia mtoto, this is not my son. Yeah. This is not my son, ulibadilishia mtoto. E, Akasema kwa mba, this is not the Felix I know. So, lakini haa kuchoka, kwa nipeleka tu yu maombi. So, on one way, on one hand, anapambana na miu kunipeleka kwa watu wa niombe. Mm-hmm. Akitoka kienda job na baki na go step mamu kwa nyumba. Che ya nakufanyia tu kabisa, atile hele pambu mepate na relapse. Una relapse. Una rudia fresh. So, ilifika mali pia. I had to run away from my father's house. Nitoroka usiku. Kwa hivyo niruka na balko ni nanyumu. Nikaenda, a friend of mine nikuwa kapa Nairobi. Kampigia kwa mbili tumie fea. Mombasa nitakufa. Siko sawa, yes, vizuri lakini. Mm-hmm. Kuna ka memory pia. Kanitumie fea, nikaingia crown bus. Nikakujia mpaka Nairobi, nikarudi kwa wangu kwa njiba pelikuwa naishi. Oh. So, until when it became too much. Kwa sasa ilibidi saa nikenda nyumbani mm-hmm. Until that 2020 when now my dad came e, Tuka kamega Haka sema apana You are still my son Tunde mumbasa ni kupeleke wende wakumbewe Kuna mali na juu tapeleke wende usaidike So nikaza kuzungusha kwa watu wakuomba Na peleke wa uku na peleke wa uku mm-hmm. And you see everyone peleke wa ni peso na itisho Pesa unaitisho wa pesa Pesa tuwa pesa uwe mbewe wa mbewe mm-hmm. So by the time like Sharon When alikuwa na mpigia simu yeah. Sharon haki mpigia simu haki mbe Felix hayuko sawa. To Sharon is something alikuwa me experience tayari ah, kuyona. But Anake, to her this but is strange. But to her it was strange. Mbuna ulukua huja muambia what you've been struggling with your time yote. Ubesikia kikuambia kwa mba nilimuliza ile siku mm-hmm. utafumilia kukana Kukuliti. nini. Ah. I wanted to open up. Laki sasa na shindo. Kwa nyumba ni kona a very wicked step mother. Ujivli ata handle. She is a lady. Na tayari anajua, anajua umu step, anamujua vizuri ya kwamba huyu siwezi ishi na ee, na mwazo hanipendi. Mm-hmm. Manake tayari alikuwa shasikia fundumu ya kwamba I'm dating Christabel. So, ali mshafulia jina kwa estetu mzima. Mm-hmm. Mm, Tawad nasima kwamba huyu, hamenipea kiburi. Kwa sababu hanipea pesa mingi sana. 
I one of the MDs in at, at the port kitu kama hiyo. Mhm. Mm so alikuwa shamaribia jina kabisa. Wakati ulipigiwa simu na Sharon ukamwambia kwamba your husband is not in a good state. The next step will take ilikuwa gani? Wakati dadaka alinielezea, mhm. Mm Nilimwambia juu aliniambia kule ndio kuna shida. Mm -hmm. Na ule mother alikuwa bado uko kule. Yeah. Nikamwambia juu situation ilikuwa imeendelea kwa mbaya. Mm -hmm. Mimi nikamwambia mweke kwa gari, mlete Mombasa. Lakini said ingine najiuliza sijadeti na ye tutaanza kuishi aje hivi. Yeah. Kitu ya kwanza hajanijua. Mimi sijamjua, sijajui kinesi yake hajanijua vizuri. Lakini kuna kitu linaambia tu wewe muite. Ndio nikamwambia sistake mweke kwa gari. Mm -hmm. Akuje Mombasa. Yeah. Na angeweza kufika peke yake kwa sababu alikuwa vibaya. Ilibidi kuna kazi yake ndio alimleta alimleta mpaka Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Na ile place nilikuwa nakaa pale kulikuwa kuruhusiwa kuingia like hakuwa kuna ruhusa like kuingia men's uja ndio ndio nilikuwa na sheria zake. Mm -hmm. Kuna nyumba zenye huwa kuna sheria. So wakati usiku walifika usiku kule lando alikuwa amekaa pale akaona na mabagi akaanza kanuza hao na kina nani. Mimi nikamuelezea hapo kuna mtu wangu na ule ni kazi yake. Sasa the move iliendelea kukaa pale. Hasa mimi akili yangu ilikuwa haiko okay. Mm -hmm. Nimempenda atuja date, sijamjua na ninaingia kwa marriage. Na yani tunaingia kwa marriage ambayo hata hatujui tendaji. Yeah. Bwanangu haiko sawa. Ulikuwa ukiogopa? Nilikuwa nikiogopa. Mm. Sababu nilikuwa najiuliza nitaambiaje wazazi wangu? Marafiki zangu watanibeba aje, wataniona aje. Ulivomuona hivi alikuwa unaweza describe alikuwa kikaje? Alikuwa Hata saizi saizi yuko sawa. Juizo alikuwa amebadilisha mpaka sura. Alikuwa black. Very black. Mm. Alafu alikuwa Alex like, Junior zafikia like amepigwa. Alikuwa amepigwa kitu kama hizi ile mistari zimejichora. Hata u, sasa nilikuwa naulizwa hivi ni uchawi ama nini? Ndio alikuwa very different. Yaani mimi sikuwa nile hata nikamza kwa ni wewe. Niambia yeye ni mimi. Juu vile nilikuwa na mjana vile ninavyomuona. Mm -hmm. Ni vitu mbili mm -hmm. nuna watu bila tofauti. Mm -hmm. Ule kazi yake akaniambia ni yeye. So mimi nikaacha nikamwambia the following day nikamwambia mimi nenda kazini. Nikaacha pale na kazi yake. Walisumbuana sana kazi yake. Bi sasa anasikia sauti. Zile vitu zinamuongelesha. Yeah. Zinamuita do this. Ndio alikuwa na zilikuwa zinamwambia chukua kitu. Alikuwa anashika mpaka kisu zinamwambia ndio jirushe ndio kafanye something ile ambayo ni mbaya kazi yake kanambia njo huko nikubaya mimi nikakuja nikimpata vile nilivyomuona hakukua nile nilifeel mm -hmm. kama angekuwa brother yangu mwenye amefanya something kama hiyo yani nilimchukua ni siku hasa niliweka like ile sasa husband kando yeah. nikasema acha niseme like this is my brother i'm dealing with my brother yes. now mm -hmm. na haikukua rais kwangu Juu sasa pale mali unaona uko na marafiki zako wa kazini wako surrounding you na sasa the fun thing anaona vitu anakimbizwa to make the matter worse sasa ila amesukuma kwa pombe mm. vitu vitu tofauti anakunywa mbaki ile una imagine na mzani wewe na akikunywa umeona mtu anakunywa vile lakini atoshiki anaendelea tu yani ile mpaka nilikuwa na mzani kwani pombe inaenda wapi Asa hiyo kitu ilikuja ka grow the more to nation ile kitu nazi mimi siku sijaishi na amani ile naweza sema ti marriage yangu imekuwa ile mimi mm. unakaa kwa marriage peacefully peaceful mm. tunaweza ongea na yeye tuka discuss something mimi kwangu haiko kwa kwa sababu nitaongea na yeye sangapi hatuna time ya kuongea ikafika mahali ikilisa mimi ni kwa mtu wa maombi nikaa natafuta maombi pia maombi by the can say dia ikafika in the point of anarudi anaweza rudi kama 3 days akili yake imerudi sawa wow unaweza mwambia something akafikiria sasa unaanza kuku, ana, kukumuka sasa zile vitu mm -hmm. na zile rose kimingewa ana, ananiambia vile zilikuwa zikiingia anasema kinakuja kitu kama upepo upepo mkali na kelele yani kama wanamuongelesha sasa hiyo situation mimi nikanayo sometimes hata mimi nilikuwa naogopa nikuko nyumba lakini sisi sisi lala juu nilikuwa na imagine atachukua nini anipige nayo Jikafika mahali mpaka alikuwa ananiambia naambiwa ni kuue. Jikwa nyumba nilikuwa nafichakiswa yani vitu zile hatari hatari. 
nilikuwa siwezi kaka karibu mm-hmm. jo zile roz zilikuwa zinamwambia aniwe sababu naomba sana wow. jo alikuwa anamwambia naharibu vitu zake atuna ati msichana anaharibu vitu zetu muue unachukua ameshiki vikisu nikamwambia naomba tu usiniue naomba tu acha ile Mungu akushukie tu ndani yako tunaomba tu na vizuri kuna ile hata kama alikuwa amechukua akili kuna kale kile kidogo kilikuwa kanarudi kana mpudia kidogo senzi na mpudia kidogo anacha kisu mm. anacha sasa nilikuwa nafanya nini kweli ni so, mko kishi tu kwa uoga hivi yes. sikuwa na chukua hata siku analala usiku na tukua na stima yote mpaka asubuhi sikuwa mm. nazima stima kwa sababu nilikuwa naogopa hata mimi mwenyewe juu ikafika in the point of hata sikuwa na karibisha marafiki kwangu nilikuwa na marafiki wazuri mm-hmm. marafiki hata wenye nilikuwa na shida walikuwa nasimama na mimi lakini sasa ilifika hapa ni kona kuna nyota wata, watani adverse vibaya na mimi kafika mahali pia mimi unajua mimi ni binadamu ilifika in the point of sasa situation nimekuwa wazi nikaambia sitaki sasa mahali imefika itabidi nimrudishe nyumbani yeah. sitaki akaniambia bela ukikubali brother yangu atakufa na kuomba tu vumilia yeah. na kuomba tu kirudisha brother yangu huko hiyo unajua una unaleta brother yangu sasa akufe kabisa wa muziki mimi nika nikamwambia ni sawa utabaki tu naye nikabaki naye wakati ulikuwa una struggle na hizi vitu unasema something comes over you mm-hmm. mara uko sawa mara uko sawa mm-hmm. unaweza describe kama kuna trigger ilikuwa mm-hmm. ikikoza hizi vitu kufanyika ama it will just be something out of your control what i can say is yeah. nikiwa hivyo mm-hmm. singe kama mali penye kuna food ama uh-huh. penye kuna mtu anafanya kitu nikasirishe ama ni, ni pande ya sira kitu kama hiyo. Mhm. Because hata yeye kuna wakati ikafika mahali labda aseme kitu alafu nikasirike. Mhm. Ndio unapata kitu na kuingia to lovers. Yeye yani sasa unakuwa mm. possessed. Sasa siku sio mimi sasa. Alikuwa na shangara na watu mtu mwingine tofauti. Because atuniambia kitu and then ni kama ziko tu mali zina zinasubiri a trigger. So once she says something all of us are now possessed at even sasa 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 za usiku mm-hmm. even when we talk so it happened like that for some time mm-hmm. na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yake kwa sababu hakuchoka because many people got tired of me ilifika sasa mahali sio pombe sasa mm-hmm. ni uenda wazimu ile siri zenyewe ile set record na ishi Mombasa before tu mimi miki ndani the hata walikuwa namwambia wewe <laughs> bwana yako mwenda lazima umepitia hapa lol amepitia makaratasi alikuwa na makaratasi oh my kwa street yes alianza kubeba mpaka makaratasi mm-hmm. sometimes kuna siku ameniambia hiyo wakati i think nilikuwa ni kona mimba huyo mtoto wangu mm-hmm. hiyo wakati kuna kipindi ile zinakwambia president alikuwa saidia. sawa alikuwa sawa mm-hmm. so nikakuja nikajipata niko na mimba na wakati nilimwambia niko na mimba alinijibu akanambia mimba si yangu. Ah. Mika mimba tena akarudi yes. baka. Akanambia mimba si yangu nikamuuliza kwa nini. Akanambia kuna vitu huyo st- step mother alimwambia. Utaikuwa na mtoto, utaikuwa na amani na utaikuwa na ndoa. So sasa mimi hizi vitu yes. zinafanyika. Ah. Sasa wakati nilimwambia niko na mimba alinambia mimba si yangu. Wewe tafuta baba mwenyewe mimba lakini mimba si yangu. Hiyo ilikuwa wakati mgumu sana kwangu nililia nikauza god why why yeah. me mm-hmm. na mlika kwa hii situation for how long how many months mpaka mkapata mkaamua wacha tutafute help na ili awe sawa vile yuko sasa tumezunguka sana makanisa yeah. hakuna matuja kanyaga mali kwenye ilifika sasa ikabidi nikuone hii kitu haiko sawa mm-hmm. wakati alianza kukota makaratasi analetea mpaka kwa nyumba Ananiambia ni shopping hii na mwambie si shopping ni makaratasi yeah. ananipiga. Kwani wewe uone ni shopping na mwambie ni makaratasi mimi naona jua meza. Hasa kwa akili yake anaona ni shopping, shopping yamefanya. Na mwambie si shopping ni makaratasi. Sasa ilifikia the point of alikuwa paka yanipige. Na unajua hata akinipiga hajui kama ananipiga. Hajui. Hana ufahamu kama ananipiga na wakati niko na bore. Ananipiga kabisa na niambia kitu kwanza wewe na kuleta shopping wewe mwanamke wa appreciate. Mm-hmm. Na mwambie yeye ni makaratasi umeleta jua meza hisi shopping paka alikuwa anaita majirani Haki majirani wanawauliza wanamuza shopping kwa pia makaratasi sasa yeye akili yake yeye mm-hmm. anaona mm-hmm. ni shopping amebeba mm-hmm. lakini mm-hmm. sisi tunaona ni makaratasi mpaka kuna time alikuwa anakaa anaongea na watu wanapiga story wanacheka na wewe uko hapo 
Unamuza ya leo unacheka, unongea na nani. Unamuza kwa ni wewe uoni ya watu. Sizi tuko meeting. Eh. Usitusu, tuko meeting. Ni maji alikuwa na cheka kapsa. Yani leke una piga story. Hawa utanongea na mimi siwa uoni. Tena na mbele ta chakula watu wageni wakuli. Alafu kwa, kwa hiyo hali, mm -hmm. hakuwa napenda sima. Hizo mm -hmm. vitu zilikuwa zinapenda rice. Alikuwa kikula rice sana. Every day. Alikuwa kikula rice. Mm -hmm. Zitu zilikuwa nambia ni, walikuwa na nambia zitu nambia wanapenda rice. Asa angekula subui, lunch, chum. Rice. Wakipika sima alikuwa hizi kula. Hazitake. Hazitake. Mm, manake hiyo time sima, nikile kiyanko kwa tumbo likuwa sikia na sikia uchungu. Mwambe ni kenda chori unapata ila inatoka kama damu. Oh. Ila nza kubli damu. Kwa damu. Mm. Kwa bli damu, ni majadonku damu. Na hiyo story ya shopping. <laughs> ya tebata likula wale chilikuwa latubia. Likuwa latubia kitabu nilionyesho vijiti ziko ndani. Chilikuwa napanga nani vijiti. Kwa wale. Na wambia ni pesa. Oh. Sa ya subia na wambia shika ni mwa. First nwa ni vijiti. Na kikata kuchukua. Vita. Vita. No. Wesa hizo hauko in control of your thoughts and yes. yourself. Yes. I love it's like a co-possessed. Mm -hmm. Kona nguvu zingine. Alikuwa na nifungia kwa nyumba na kufuli. Anenda job. Lakini kwa nyumba napata ni kwa nje. Hadiyo nitoka hadi. Na sija fungua na mlangu. Mm -hmm. Na ni mlangu ni wachuma. Na yuna kufuli. Andani kuna mlangu ambao. But alikuwa ni pata ni kwa nje. Mm. So angefunga na mna gani ya tumie padlo kina kaji Mimi likuwa na jipata tu nikuwa nji mm. Because it likuwa nafika time una, ni kama una bebwa tu Na some extraordinary force mm. And it like, gives you the strength mm, Na ikuambia ni hapa tunapita wa ni hapa mm. yeah. At what point did you finally get healed from this? So after like uh, I thank God because of her She is a very prayerful yeah. lady mm -hmm. Na alijaribu kusimama na maombi. After the point unakumbuka kuna, kuna, there is a time, nilipele kwa mali ni ombewe. Then, that pastor ni kama liku mechoka. Lakisa like, hataki kumambia ni mechoka. Mm -hmm. mm, Tai kumambia mechoka. Sasa kwa na madvice, advice tu zingine ambaza zina mana na mambia wewe. Hapa kuna ndoa. Wewe ni mwana mke mrembo sana. Mm -hmm. Wanaume wakuku nje wazuri. E, hata kuna mwetu na jua saizi ni mbalu ya tu. Kama wataka wabalu ya tu kuna mbalu ya tayari. Ana drive. Uh -huh. Kuna kazi mzuri. Kuna pesa. Na ni single man. <laughs> Sio single parent. E, achana na huyu. So mm. they really a pastor. Mm. Ali ku encourage. You leave your husband to yes. get married to someone else. Sasa. Ali nando ya badiliki. Mm. So at that point is when now. Yeye. Yeah, anake mimi si kwa niko sawa yali decide na kuhama hiyo kanisa. Mhm. Mm so aliamua kuhama huko. So if after mali maombi pia yeye mbona ni kama yani una, una expect ya kwamba this is a man of God ambaye atakusaidia kukuinua imani ama kupea tumaini mm -hmm. lakini anakuvunja moyo. Mm -hmm. Asaka mbona akisema acha mambo na maombi shekae. But alikuwa akitoka kwa nyumba afunga na kufuli but on that Sunday it was in November akawa ametoka asubuhi na kufunga mlango. So the church where I go currently iko top on nearby na Petronaishi. So I used to hear people pray, people yeah. pray, people pray. Na hiyo siku siku ndio kumbe nilikuwa siku ya Mungu nilikuwa nimefika. Mm. So kuliko kwa nyumba na skate your conviction. So when the kanisan. So kuguza mlango hivi na test. Kakuta ijafungwa. Haijafungwa. Nikaingia kwa bafu nikaoga. Actually I put on a jeans na t-shirt ya black na open shoes. Na nikaingia hiyo kanisa. Na nikaketi hapo. So baada ya preaching zoto kiombewa. Huyo pastor, ito pastor Joseph. O Jesus wina ministry mikindani. Ushaifika mali unona uko kanisani, unona ni kama upasa na kuubiri wewe. Oh. Everything ambao na sema unona tulijini yako. Bada ya kane kamuliza pastor na umejua jizi mambo zote. Kaniliza kaniambia katu kijua kumbu kumali pasawa. Wow. You are at the right place. Mm -hmm. Na kaniambia, mungu watakuponya. Wewe usikufe moyo. Mm -hmm. Na bada kuniombea kaniambia, ni kupe, ni mini kamuliza. Kwa hivyo, hapa na, natuwa pesa ngapi. Kaniuza pesa za nini, kawambia za kuombewa. Kaniambia, sisi hapo watu ombe, watu na pesa. Mm -hmm. Nikawambia, pei nimetoka, including the immediate church about umekua. Awa, litisho 50,000. Yeah, na my sister. 
don't know where that money they got. They really gave right. that money. Kapea yes. watu pesa. Kuna point ndio unafika you can do anything. You can do anything. Mm. Because no. me nilimuuliza mko mnafanya nini kafika mali akaniambia ushaiona hizi group za WhatsApp za kuchangia watu matanga. Mlitengeneza sasa tunatengeneza group yako na uko hai. Just to raise money for my sake. So walifanya hivyo mm-hmm. but shida ikakuwa ni hivyo persistent hai hai badiliki. But hiyo siku kuja kuombea pale ni pastor aliniambia my friend. Hmm? Sisi kazi tunafanya eh we are not charging anything tunafanya kazi ya Mungu Mungu mwenyewe atakuponya. Mm-hmm. Akaniambia weka hapo kwa malipo sawa. Akaniambia kesho kuna maombi Tuesday, Wednesday kuna ibada. So after a week because yeye alikuwa amezoea ya kwamba na kwa normal two days, mm-hmm. three days ama four na relax time. Mm. So wiki imeisha mbona this guy ako sawa. Mm-hmm. Because nilikuwa naingia kwa nyumba sasa hivi sikuwa na shina mali pengine because hiyo sina job. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa na kaa tu church. So nikiingia kwa nyumba she used to ask me dad uko sawa unasikia aje na muziki kivipi mm-hmm. au sikii kitu kikongelesha na this time huko unatumia any medication no so i used to me any medication mhm mm, used to me any medication kabisa mza anambia ah mimi niko sawa sisikii sauti yote mhm unasikia kunywa ni naomba nasikia kunywa chai ama nasikia kunywa soda ange sacrifice ndio nitafutie wow so after like two weeks sasa zimeisha yeye moyo aliamua kuja kanisa. Na kile akamwambia pastor pastor. Alinipata pastor ameika kwa keyboard pale hivi. Wana I like playing the keyboard. Mm. Akamwambia pastor pastor, mimi ndio mke wa jamaa. Huyo mtu namuona amesimama pale hivi, kichwa wake wewe naruka. Pastor akaniangalia akamwambia, akija hapa siku ya kwanza niliambiwa hivi. Mm-hmm. Na nikaambiwa the best thing tamfanyia ni mficha hapo kwa madhabahu. Wow. Na akanieka tu hapo hivi na ndio pasta akamwambia hata sasa hizi tuko na safari na Nairobi um, ile crusade na kwa ngabi shop moa ile ya kasarani mm-hmm. every year kama na na simwachi nitampeleka kasarani aende aombe pia so from then mambo ikaza tukua mazuri mm-hmm. so si kwa isikia hizi ma story tena ever yeah, ever no, yeah. unasema kuna wakati pasta alitamka maneno makali describe what happened wakati huo na ni pasta yupi wakati yule alikuwa alikuwa sawa alikuwa bado kwa mgonjwa alikuwa kwa mgonjwa bado mm. so alikuwa akifika mali akona vita na wakati nilikuwa niko na mtoto mm. so kwa usalama wangu nilikuwa nakimbia nenda kule kwa pasta yeah juu alikuwa amefika mali mpaka ile hataki kuona mtoto kuna wakati mpaka amechukua mtoto akaamka kwa super drama hizo mtu zinamwambia huyo mtoto mm. mtoto akatumkiza mtoto kwa super drama akafunika sasa mimi niko kazini mm-hmm. na mpigia simu ashike lakini unajua kuna ile mind yangu ananiambia tu kwa nyumba kitu kiko sawa nikimpigia simu ashike sasa nikamu nikatuma marafiki zangu nikamwambia nime niangalie kama mtu wangu uko sawa maana yake nimeacha wanangu kwa nyumba na mtoto hiyo siku jioni nilikuwa nimepatoka sasa ni kwa like ya akili hivyo waje hata ukiombewa kuna zile huwa zinarudi tena mm-hmm. lakini wewe tuliinge ile kanisa uliona change so wakati wakati tulika tulika some i think like two months mimi mwenyata nikana shangaa kama nakosa nakosa ndoke huyo hata nikikaa hivi hiyo kitu wewe naendelea kwa akili huwa nikikaa hivi unashtuka nikikaa peke yangu hiyo kitu wewe nanisumbua kwa akili sana yanisumbua sana mhm sasa nikana imagine nitakuwa na mtongo mdogo huyo mtongo mdogo baada yako na shida ya kitovu uh, akizaliwa mm-hmm. I think to yake likatoa vibaya. Sasa daktari akasema tu maintain asilie. Nilikuwa na my husband yuko sawa, mtoto yuko sawa, lazima watu wale ni waangalie. Yeah. Na mimi nilikuwa hapo kwa nyumba, mabango nyumbani mgonjo. Hizo vitu mbizi nadhani kwa akili yangu. Sasa nikana juuliza God why me. Mhm. Jo, alikuwa akinipiga na muuliza anasema ji. Anasema hata si hata si. Ukimu anza kuwa mfanya kitu hata anza alikuwa kikai hivi unaona vile wazimu wazimu unajua barabarani huwa anafanya kitu mm. unapata mtu ana mwakio sime paka nikasema ule wale watu wa elimu ni wanafanya kutoka kwa experience ambayo nilipata kwake unaweza pata wazimu ameenda cho pale sababu alikuwa akienda hivyo mm. na ukimuuliza atakuwa mkalti na kupiga mimi sijafanya mm. unaona kabisa na mosha ndio ile pale lakini unajua kile yake inamwambia leke kuchoni mm. anasema kuchoni sasa wakati huyo wakati yeye alikuwa sasa ile haiko sawa mm. mimi nilikuwa naishikoyo pasta 
Ndiyo sasa ilibidi oh, nitoke. Wewe na mtoto? Yes, mimi na mtoto nilikuwa na, na save maisha mtoto juu. Alikuwa anataka kuua mtoto. Mm -hmm. Zile maro sasa zilikuwa zinamwambia auwe mtoto juu mtoto si wake. Mimi mm -hmm. nikaenda pale kwa pasta. Sasa nikaa na ngemele pasta pasta akaaniambia. Sasa wewe ni usina mdogo. Kwa nini uishi maisha ya kukimbia leo? Leo uko sawa. Kesho mmefukuzwa. Mm -hmm. Leo uko sawa. Leo uko sawa. Kwa nini uishi hapa? Tafuta mtu mwingine. Mm -hmm ukae naye ukunje kuna mabwana wazuri kuliko wewe mwenye uko naye sasa mimi kitu nilimuuza nilimuuza kuli pasta na tumbenga kila siku naweza ni advertisive akanambia tena acha nikwambie mimi namuombea ataka 2 years bila job atateseka maisha yake yote nikamuuza pasta na ukiongea hivyo kweli umemaanisha akasema sasa kama mtu nimemwambia na badilika nataka niombe aje Nikamwambia labda kuna mali haujomba vizuri mimi nilimjibu hivyo kuna mali ujomba vizuri but alimkasi alikasi my husband mbele yangu nimekaa na akamkasi nikamuza sasa nataka mimi ni survive aje na watoto aliniambia mimi nitafute by then hiyo wakati my husband kuna alikuwa akipigania pesa za baba yake tuka hiyo pesa wakati nilipata juu alikuwa yuko sawa mimi kama wife yake juu nilijua ni ndoa yangu yeah. juu sikuwa ready kuachana na, na ye hata kama alikuwa wazimu nilikuwa sema hata kama ni wazimu ni bwanangu wakati hizo pesa zilitoka tukaenda nikatafuta shamba mm. na siku nua kwao nilitafuta kwetu nilipiga madeni kama ambayo tuna pesa kidogo hapo imepatikana wacha tuke kwa shamba kwa sababu hatujui kesho itakuwaje yeah. hasa ule pasa akaniambia sababu umenua shamba na uko na mtu mvulana wewe hauna shida wewe toka wachana na ye Si asha, usha, asha kupatia pesa umenua shamba. Si mtoto ni mvulana juu atakuja kukitisha shamba badai. Na huta kuwa labda na shamba kumpatia. Mm. Na kuna shampu usha nunua. Uwe jitoi mama. Mimi sezi kukua adva isu ndelewe kukapu. Na ubu wanako hata ipata kazi hata shimesha kuteseka. Yo kitu uwe natumiza mbaka oleo. Kwa sasa unafikiri kwa mba yele maneno walitamuka ya na waaffect mbaka saizi. Yes, mi kwanza yena ni affect sana. Yu nikiangalia kama saizi. Mm -hmm tunapitia lot bwana ngo si tu apply kazi wana apply paka mimi mtani kuna mtatu liama tulikuwa na tukani naambia bwanangu hataki kutafuta kazi bwanangu ananitegemea mimi yani nilikuwa naambia maneno mazito mazito na tukani mpaka nilikuwa nikipita mali naambia bibi ya wazimu ndio anapita bibi ya wazimu ndio anapita paka kuna mgeni alimuuliza Uono nile hali ambayo buwanaku yuko sawa. Ange kata kama ni umtu waku, akupate tu kwa dakika ile hali tu. Kwa dakika. Mm -hmm. Uneza staimili kweli. Uwe saizi ukuna kazi vile tunavuungia saizi? Saizi kazi yangu likujikaisha. 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 Mm -hmm. Buwanangu wana kazi. Kafika mali ile tu kuhasol tu. Yuna Kuna hasol. mali tukaika mina uzamaji. Juni leona atuna vile tasurvive mm -hmm. na tukona mtoto. Mm -hmm na mwenye rent unajua kifika mshamizi hataki kujua kama yeye atataka kujua shida zenu mm -hmm. yeye anataka rent yake naweza pata paka mali na pale mali na shindo kulipa kwa sababu utatoa kwa pesa rent every month pesa rent hapo mali ndaka na ulipe na chakula na chakula mtoto unapata like hiyo baada nimekuwa ngumu sana kwangu mm -hmm. unapata like lakini wase hata nizongea ni lakini wewe sijui ni mangapi napitia mm -hmm. Kuna jambo nilijifunza kuna mambo mengine wao ukiambia mtu unaweza kuwa nafikiwa anakusaidia kumba na kucheka. Yeah. Hasa mimi kuna yenye huwa na nyama za nayo huwa siambi mtu. Mm Hata -hmm. tukilala nje kwetu siambi mtu. Wana nyama za. Hata mm -hmm. kama atuni. Wana nyama za kuna kati tumelala nje two days na tuko na mtoto. Sasa si kwenye my husband alina concern. I think pastor Aligez. Aliona like ya watu wako sawa. Akamwita akamzo kwa kwako kwa sawa juu sisi hatu hatujazoeli like juu mimi nilikuwa na shida nataka bwanangu asaidiwe yeah. akwe sawa sitaanza kumpatia na majukumu ya kwangu niambie pasta hatuna food hatuna rent niliona like atachoka hasa ile naweza pata pasta wetu pasta joseph anaweza chukua 200 mpatie iwashikili iwashikili atachenya atapata unaweza pata watu kanzani kwetu by the way wana upendo mtu akienda kama bara akienda kama peke kuja na food wana litaka nisani mm -hmm. pasta yetu si mchoyo anagawia kila mtu kidogo za wow. pata ametuletea mahindi tumeletwa nini mm. si pasta mwenye na tamaa mwenye mm. tapate zile vitu ende nazo kwake zote pasta yetu yuko hivyo huwa mm -hmm. anagawa na za pata amepatia bwanangu amwambia shika kulekea wife 
ndio nimeshikilia na hii mm. kesho Mungu atatenda hata kama tunauza pale maji waniambia najua pale hakuna kitu mnapata kwa sababu mnategemea kila kitu pale kila kitu ni pale najua pale sio ni kama mnasaidika na pale mm. and actually to add on that yeah. um when my, my dad died <coughs> mimi ali nominate kama next of kin so kuna zile pesa ambazo kampuni yanalipa mm-hmm. um, kuambia pole so kando na my sister i have uh, three step siblings mm-hmm. and then also my shosho mama and dad bado yuko hai yeah. alafu na st- uyo step mom so there's some big kitomba ilichangei issue ya uzimu na depression pia it was a very long court battle ah. manaki uyo step mom na wale siblings wengine step they took me to court ati nene ni sema kwa nini ati kwa nini dad hakuwa nominate hao kama <laughs> next of kin kama next of kin mm. ali nominate mimi so waliona kaandika they filed the petition against me na ikazuia KPA kutoa pesa so actually huyu pastor joseph ndiye tusaidia na maombi sana yes. alitusaidia ku support alituambia kwamba pana lazima itafunguka mm-hmm. na mimi nikona since money is money money comes and money goes, goes yeah. na nikasema kwamba si hizi chaka si sitaka nipate hiyo pesa yote because i'm the next of kin nibaki nikipigana na watu maisha yangu yote mimi mwenyewe nimekuwa wazimu at least kuna muujiza ni mwana Mungu amenitendea at least amenipoenya mm-hmm. so what i decided to do is nikana i talk to we had to, to get our lawyer me and my sister now tukawa na our, our own lawyer kambia lawyer since tuko watu saba eh mimi Sharon Shosho na wale three step siblings na wale step mom mm-hmm. total of seven kambi i don't know the amount of money ambayo iko kule but whatever is there mm-hmm. wachiganywe katikati equal share yes. 50 50 kila mtu kila mtu apate because mimi nilishukuru upande wangu at least nilikuwa nimesaidika nilikuwa wazimu saizi at least naweza pendeza mbele ya watu yes. mimi nilikuwa nimeka vibaya hata ungekuja kwetu ungekuja ukae kwa nyumba ukaisha kula ukule ningeketi hivi na tunaongea uone kunguni inatokezea hapa machawa i used to have nyetonga afro yule kubwa mandevu ilikuwa imejaa huku i used to smell bad uko pendi kuoga hata sikuwa penda kuoga alafu hiyo kati ya kupeleka kwa maombi mimi mm-hmm. hakuna kitu sijafanyia kwa ubu ili wangu kupeleka kwa watu wanaona kuombea wanachukua kijembo na kukatakata hivi damu zitoke hata kuna alama bado hizi zinaendelea kupotea potea kama hizi wanaeka vitu hapo ndani wanakata alafu wanaeka vitu ndani wakisema nini wanakufanyia ati wanakuwekea siju ulinzi walikuwa na mkinga hiyo sababu ya zile maspiriti hiyo spiriti za wazimu but it's not working so me it's not working kabisa so mwili mimi hakuna kitu sijafanyiwa so reflecting back mm-hmm. nikaangalia nikasema hapana money hata hata Solomon mwenyewe alisema it's vanity igawanywe katikati that is when now last year mm-hmm. bila leo na nime decide ya kwamba igawanywe katikati so they are now agreed mm-hmm. wakakuja wakasign ile barua pamoja na pesa zikaridishwa na na, na kampuni mm-hmm. so that money kila mtu, akapata. kila mtu akapata equal share yake mm-hmm. So hiyo pesa nilimwelezea na nikampa nikamwambia fanya hivi. Hii pesa hata sitaki ikae kwa mikono yangu. Mm-hmm. You do what you can because kwetu babangu mwenyewe pe alizikwa hapo hakuna shamba. Ambapo tutasema kwamba sisi vijana tunataka kuridhi. Mm-hmm. Shamba mbaya babaki pale ina shosho peke yake. So nikamwambia since kwetu nakujua ni huko ndio pia nilirogewa the best thing will be tafuta shamba mbali. Mm-hmm. Hata kama ni kwengo. So that's what she did. That's what she did. Mm. Mm. Mimi kazi yangu ilikuwa kutoa makaratasi na verify iko sawa na sign. That's Yata what she did. Alikuwa yuko dile sawa. Hata kisaini alikuwa yuko dile sawa. Hata wakati sikuwa niko sawa, lakini yeye hakwenda against my back asema kwamba anaandika mm-hmm. shamba title deed kwa jina yake. Mm-hmm. Bado li maintain tu jina yangu. Wow. Mm. Kwa sasa umesema huna kazi. Yeah, kwa sasa sina kazi. Mm-hmm. What what kind of job are you looking for? Professionally me am a social worker. Yeah. But Which involves uh, doing what? Counseling, yeah. psychology, mm-hmm. um just helping people. Sure. Um social workers they work in different places, mm. they hospitals, work, hospitals, they work communities. In school, in communities. Yes. But the experience that I gained in kifanya kazi line 7 mm-hmm. uh, in Kibera it made me to be an, some sort of an administrator. Mm-hmm. So I usually say I can work anywhere. Yeah and uh, she has been supporting me since 2020 mm-hmm. 2021 2022 na hiyo kazi tu ya kuzamani 
no by then alikuwa anafanya kazi okay 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 that's why she, uh, she was she was to support me mm-hmm. kwa miaka mitatu na and then support kama mimi niko wazimu mm-hmm. but now kwanza this year 2024 january alikuwa na expect ya kwamba narudi kazini wakaambia kwamba hiyo job kuna kesi kidogo mm-hmm. so they had to kwa kwa kando so mimi nikagale niko na kwamba saa hizi nimefika at least niko sawa because mm-hmm. part of the money ambayo tulipata kando na kununua shamba ndio aliongeza zile savings alikuwa nazo mm-hmm. akafungua hiyo business ya maji umesikia akikwambia yes sasa nikagale niko na at least now since i'm i'm now okay i feel You're like I, I feel like it's like it's now my turn now to give back to her mm-hmm. and to give back to the community because kama angekuwa ameniachia wakati wote at least i mean ingekuwa nilikufa kitambo but at least mimi wanasema the best thing is i appreciate nayo at least as I yeah, kai sasa yeah. it's now my turn as a man to take charge i take charge okay. take charge of my family that my son umemwona yakoba nilikuwa nataka kumuua na actually alikuwa kwa Skype last ndani but something nakuja kuambia hapa what are you doing mm-hmm. so it's like you're fighting two spirits two voices inakwambia uwe inakwambia usiuwe mm-hmm. so i feel like it's my turn now to give back to them i think it's my it's now my turn i feel like i'm strong kama nimepata hiyo chance na courage ya ku speak up yeah. i feel i'm okay right now from ule mtu ambaye alikuwa mwenda wazimu right now i preach eh, pastor joseph anani groom pole pole mm-hmm. na into becoming a pastor wow because i feel like that is what huyu mungu mm-hmm. si mungu ambaye nitamsikia toto kiongea ni mungu ambaye mbona akinitendea na ukisikia kwamba nilikuwa mwenda wazimu it is serious We have some videos up hivi um asiji kama alibeba alibeba zile picha mm-hmm. if you compare that person then and you compare the Felix of now they are two different people so the same kwamba i feel as much as na feel pen responsibility yangu ku serve Mungu mm-hmm. but now from the family aspect on side of it yeah. i feel like i need now to take care of them wow Yeah. What is the one message you have for your wife for standing by you all those years while you were struggling with the things that you were struggling? You can look at her and tell her that message right wow. now. <laughs> <laughs> so to you Christabel my wife um I know it has taken long for me to be able to speak up but what I can just assure you is that my choice my choice um to having you as my wife back then it was actually the best and uh, sincerely speaking atami kuja hapa leo haige kwa rais kama si wewe actually she's the one who has played everything mimi kazi yangu ilikuwa kukwambia tu ya kwamba tunaenda mahali safari mm-hmm. uh, but she had not told me about the everything the preparation the what the back and forth that we had we yes. really spoke for a long time mm-hmm. yeah. she has never told me mm-hmm. she only told me yesterday in the evening kinaonyesha message ya mm-hmm kumbe na safari so what i can just tell you is that um perhaps you might have thought that uh, this man is no more that there is no love um, let me just assure you that for everything that you've done to me and for me you've just assured me and given me the re- another reason to love you more and I love you forever and I feel like it's now my turn and my chance let me take care of you and our family I love you so much it's okay
It's your turn now to talk to your husband. It's your turn to talk to him. My husband. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Nimetukana sana nimefanya mambo mabaya sababu ni kuacha. Lakini roho yangu ndio ndio kupenda siku ya kwanza. Tazidi kukupenda hivyo na nakupenda zaidi. Naomba tu Mungu tu kama uko jumbe ngumu. Asikie tu maombi yetu na kufungulie tupate kazi. Natamani. Natamani kabisa. Natamani ni kuona atawe asubuhi mamka kama ana ume wengine umeta kazini. <laughs> Kirudi jioni alisa nasema this is my husband amtoka kazini this is my husband natamani sana hata wewe pia uonekane mbele ya watu wale ambao walikuwa na kudharau you are nothing wacha Mungu pia aonekane kakupatie tu kazi ombi langu tu hata mimi natamani unyeke kama bibi labda wengine wanadharau labda ukipata kazi maisha tutabadilika nakupenda sana nasikuwa nafanya bureto kwa sababu ya nini nilikuwa nakupenda kutoka kwa roho yangu napenda sana najua Mungu atatusimamisha sote Amen. thank you so much for kukubali hata kushare your painful story na sisi na ni story ambayo pia hata kama imekuwa na pain iko bado na hope hamja yeah. give up hata kama sure. challenges zimekuwa nyingi sana na jo watu wengi wameochi video na wangependa kuwa support in one way or the other maybe kuna mtu ako na job pia angependa ku reach out to you ku support how can they reach you hao watu ambao wanakuta zama size kuna namba ya simu mko naye ange yeah mhm yeah leo kama yeah so um this is my sincere appeal to anyone yes mwe ana uwezo wa kunisaidia um anaweza nisaidia my number ya yes, simu ni 0715 4901261 na actually um my wife amesema ukweli yeah nimejaribu ku apply mm, actually nilikuwa na apply mpaka times nilikuwa nafika mali na nendo naangalia CV yangu vizuri i'm like kama kuna any part of my CV niliandikwa kwamba nilikuwa wazibu mm-hmm. because hii ni application na watu wa kwamba like this one at least nitaitwa interview yeah. but is na kwa rejected no na so but did i give up yeah. uh, because even in the bible in Psalms 40 verse 1 the bible says that i have waited patiently mm. i waited patiently and then the lord came yes and answered my cry so i always believe in patience ya kwamba mungu kama kuna siku atatenda atatenda mimi hakuna kitu ambacho sijafanya ilifika mali after kwa apply kazi nikaona kwamba zindi through nika apply mpaka passport i think it almost kutoka kama nasema kwamba natafuta mpaka kazi za nje mm-hmm. because i just want to give back to her yeah for the support ara alikuwa anamwambia kwamba mungu anibariki tu na kazi nzuri wewe nataka tu nikuweke tu maisha fulani ukae at least pia wewe kuna zile ndoto ulikuwa uko nazo mm-hmm. at least wewe mwenyewe pia ukae uishi maisha kidogo ya kwamba at least unapendwa maana it was not easy you can imagine unaka na mtu kuna vitu mingi ajasema yeah. mimi nimoza mpaka vitu zake kwa nyumba i sold things i sold stuff ni loser utensils nikauza viti nikauza nini anatoka nenda kazini amenunua vitu akirudi hivi jioni pata ziko na sio ni mimi. Mm-mm. You don't know what to go. What was by. inside mm-hmm. me. Right now at the moment najua. Eh, naweza baki na my son the entire day. Eh, in fact atasa hizi mimi ndo nikipata pesa nyimpe. Mwambie you manage it. Because at the yemo yanaangalia na kwamba this guy ni amebadilika. Mungu amemtoa mbali. Mm-hmm. So it was my my desire. Mm, kwamba nikipata kazi. Tashukuru sana. Wow. Uh, and love Peter and Saidia because of the experience ambayo mm-hmm. nilikuwa nayo as a, as a social worker even the efforts of the government iko nazo za ku rehabilitate watu sana sana drug addicts mm-hmm. uh, neza chipping kwa hizo because neza itumia mimi kama 
kama case reference ah. ama an example mm-hmm. yani niambia though ilikuwa ni nguvu za giza na nini lakini i can still empower somebody niambia kumbe inawezekana yeah. and then also huyu uh, Mungu ameitoa mbali kama sio huduma si dani kama ninge kuwa hapa leo mm-hmm. yeah, that's alikuwa namwambia ningepata kazi Mombasa at least nifanye kazi na nitumikie Mungu pia nilikuwa jaribu kumuelezea hivi mm-hmm. ingekuwa also another option the best option Ingekua the best actually mm-hmm. because kama si huyu Mungu mm, kama si huyu Mungu sijenge kuaje yeah. yeah it's only because of God and just to encourage somebody watching out there never doubt in God's ability to make something happen for you. Yeah. It may take long. It may be painful. But you just pray and leave the rest to God. Yeye ndo kufanya. Binadamu kazi yake ni kuomba. Sasa wewe omba na ufanye shughuli zako. Omba na ukae ukiamini. Lakini siku ya Mungu akiamua kufanya, mm-hmm. atatenda. Rachel was the sister to Leah. Leah had six sons and a daughter. Rachel la kwa mtoto mmoja mm. after more than 10 years God remembered her. Yes. God can still remember you. Na Mungu abariki sana. Tunashukuru sana mm. kwa kuja hapa na kutu trust na story yenu. Na matumaini yetu ni kwamba mtu ambaye atakuwa kitazama kule you, you don't know who's watching. Sure. Wanaweza kuguzwa na wabadilisha maisha yenu. Na tunawatakia kila lahiri hata mkianza safari kurudi Mombasa. We look forward to hear good news from you. Sure. Sabu na jua zinakuja. Mm-hmm. And to you to co family, are you there and you are touched to change this couple's lives and make them live a decent life. Life without worry of what tomorrow will look like. Please reach out to them through the number that they have shared on the screen. We shall also pin the same on the pinned comment for you to reach out to them and support them. Stand with them whether in prayer, with advice, with job opportunities they will appreciate that and thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the show my name is Yvonne Kawera keep it talk